they do thread differently. That does not make me happy at all. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today I am so excited to be sharing a comparison video on the Brotherton 34D versus the Brotherton 34DX. Now a lot of you have asked me, is there a difference? And I assumed because they have the same number that there wasn't much of a difference. But Boy, was I wrong, and I'm so glad I had the opportunity to give you guys a comparison video before you go out and buy. So let's get started. First off, let's get some close-up shots of the Brother 1034D, both the outside and the inside, so that you can see what it looks like. Now some close-up shots of the Brother 1034DX. All right, so let's talk about the differences. First of all, for transparency, I have had this Brother 1034D for about eight years. So if they have changed anything within the last few years, I do have a new one at my office, I'll check and I'll let you guys know um, if anything has changed in the versions or in the years of this. But this has stood out, it stood the test of time for me over the eight years that I've had it. And you guys know I sold through layers. I love layers and layers of fabric and it has not disappointed. But you guys have asked and asked, what are the differences? So here it is. First off the bat, let's talk about the price. This one currently sells for 218 to 20. You can find it for more expensive, but that's the price I paid. I paid 218 for this one. And this one right now is going for 275, 279. When I bought it eight years ago, it was actually almost $400. So I really had to save up to get it. Um, and honestly, I don't know if that plays a role as well if they are making them with cheaper materials these days. But one thing I do know is that they do thread differently. On this one, first of all, you take the thread up through the holes. On the DX, you do still have the holes, but you also have the option to take it through just these little slide things. And if you are in a rush, I feel like that would be an easier way to thread. Second of all, really, really apparent is that this one has these tension discs up here that you slide it underneath as well as the tension here. Um, there is no tension other than inside underneath the dial on the DX. I don't know how that plays a bigger role later down the road, but of course we know that we adjust our tension through the dials, but this one holds the thread in more places so i don't know if that plays a part whether they just found that they don't need it but like i said this version still sells and it is more expensive so let's get more into this threading and i will have a dedicated video to learn how to thread the dx um, i do have a video on how to thread the 1034d um, a lot of people feel like it is the very best video on threading the D. And so I wanna make sure that I help out all of those of you who got the DX as well. But with the DX, it is completely different in that it threads from left to right. Not the order of most sergers in that you have to thread three, then four, then two, then one. Um, after a while, you just get used to that order. But the problem is if anything gets out of whack, you have to unthread everything and rethread it in that exact order. Otherwise, it won't work on most sergers. So this one, it is just threaded from left to right. That was the like biggest difference to me because I mean it's smart it's a very smart difference it just makes everything easier but I just thought that was crazy because I'm so used to doing the three four two one order but this one is threaded from left to right four three two one so yeah it's not hard to remember next up what's obvious to me is the difference between the presser foot adjustment this is the presser foot adjustment it raises or lowers like 
the amount of pressure you get on your fabric is adjusted through this dial. You'll notice on the 1034D, this one is metal, and you'll notice on the 1034DX, it is plastic. So um, that is another way that they can cut costs. I don't know that I would like a plastic one because I have had to completely adjust. I messed it up. I'm, I've got my surgery out of whack one time, and this dial definitely came in handy to fix <laughs> what I had messed up. And so I don't know what part that plays, but that is one of the differences. Another big difference to me is underneath the number three, the number three thread, which is the most prominent thread. It is the one that you see the most, the color that you see the most if you do multicolors. On the 1034D, I have boasted that the 1034D is the easiest serger to thread. And I just assume that because of patented technology, that brother will use that same technology to thread all of their sergers. However, on the DX, it is different. It is the same thought process, but it is different. And I'll show you here, they use it where you take the thread behind Behind just like a little notch almost like a thumbnail to me but you have to uh, pull this little lever this little number nine lever and it'll come forward and then you thread it so this the thought process is the same um, and I would actually give kind of the same tips as I did in the 1034 D but like I said I will do a dedicated video on how to thread this one so yeah you don't want to miss that next up let's talk about the dials the dials for the 1034D are all on the left-hand side, and they're like thumb tab dials that you turn on the side. Everything is over there. To, to lower your knife is over there. Your stitch length, stitch width, everything is over there. On the Brother 1034DX, two of the knobs are on the right-hand side, and they're turn dials, just like your hand wheel. Over here, you'll have the stitch length, I believe this is, as well as the differential speed ratio dial. And this one really has to do with what type of fabric that you're sewing. If you're sewing stretch fabrics, if you're sewing leather, denim, uh, silk, whatever you're sewing, that's where this dial would come into play. And over here is a stitch width dial, and that is the how wide your stitch will be. Another difference is the piece that comes off in order for you to be able to sew cuffs and collars. Um, I find this super helpful, super, super helpful. However, on the 1034D, it's this little piece right here, and it comes off to reveal a smaller portion, which means that you can fit a smaller cuff on here. This one, the 1034DX, it just has this little piece and then it is a bigger portion. So you will only be able to fit like a bigger piece of fabric, which means you probably won't be able to do wristbands, um, maybe only like legs and of course waistbands. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. On this channel, I do sewing machine reviews as well as upcycles. And upcycle is basically taking old clothes, whether they're in your closet or from the thrift store and remaking them to suit your style and your personality. And I pride myself on giving you guys the most amazing inspiration so that you can go and do it for yourself or you can just be entertained by what I do. So definitely hit that subscribe button. All right, back to the video. All right, so now, now is what everybody has been waiting for the comparison test let's sew on these and compare how the stitches look I have noticed a couple differences but I'd like to see if you guys can spot them I have all of the settings exactly the same differential feed on two it's on two back there stitch length three three stitch width on seven stitch with on set. First, we're gonna take this old lab coat material and this is gonna be like a dress shirt material or a light canvas material. And we are going to do a knife test on this one. What the heck? 
Next, we're going to take some t-shirt material to see how it does with stretchy fabrics. And remember, like I said, these are all on the same settings. First impressions, this thing is shaking like the singer did in my other comparison video. So that does not make me happy at all. Now you can see on the same settings, these stitches are really a lot looser. I don't like how loose they are on the ends. And I've noticed this no matter what I've done and play with it, they're really loose on the end. Not so much when you cut the fabric with the knife, but when you don't cut it, if your edge is already cut and you don't cut it, then the stitches are a little loose on the end. And I don't particularly like that for a professional finish. And last up is everybody's favorite, the denim test. First, we're gonna do two layers of denim. Then we are going to do four layers of denim. I'm gonna cut it. Let's see if it'll do eight layers of denim. It stalled out a little bit, but when I pressed it, it did it. I'm not gonna go to more than that, but it did a good job at eight layers of denim. It's a perfect stitch. Two layers of denim. So the denim stitch is still nice. Like I said, not as tight, but still nice. Let's do four layers. Okay, so once we got it going, it worked pretty well. I don't think we should try this one on. I feel like we're gonna jack this thing up. I would rather try six layers on here. It did the six layers. Should I try the eight? Woo. I couldn't get it to get even through there. So this one does six layers. So that's it. Definitely let me know what you think, which one you prefer. Is this one worth saving $60 over? Um, personally, I don't know that it is because I haven't had it for eight, nine years. But um, if you are looking for the absolute cheapest serger that is gonna give you a good bang for your buck, I think this is a very, very good option. If you can afford a little bit more, I would definitely do the upgrade just for longevity's sake. 
sake and for stitches sake. But either way, you guys know I'm a big fan of Brother Surges and both of these are exceptional. If you do want a comparison of Brother Surges to Singer as well as Juki, then definitely watch this video right here. And I have a whole host of other videos for you to watch right here. On this channel, I remake clothes to just the most amazing epic things ever. Um, watch and see if you agree. And if you do get the 1034DX, definitely don't miss the threading video. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!